Hello, Kenny from Albot here. Just wanted to give you an update on the Frame and Reference podcast. Now, if you follow this channel, you know about the podcast, but if you don't, it is a weekly cinematography podcast where I interview the best cinematographers on the planet. We had Hoyte von Hoytema, who shot Oppenheimer. We've had uh, Eric Messerschmidt, Jeff Cronenweth, uh, Igel Burled all shot for David Fincher. We had uh, Oren Sofer, the creator. Um, we had uh, Robert Richardson, who is um, Quentin Tarantino's DP and also shot Air for Ben Affleck. We had Robert Yeoman, who is Wes Anderson's DP. Um, you know, some of the best, we had a, uh, 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 Really, honestly, the best in the business every week and indie uh, DPs as well. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's conversations hour long ish, sometimes longer with uh, the best in the bit. Larry Fong, 300 Watchmen. Now I consider a good friend. Um, fantastic conversations. Very educational. Not only let you into the mind of a DP, but also oftentimes give some great nuggets of technical wisdom or, or practical um, advice. Now, I started that podcast over the pandemic, you know, around when it started because I had, you know, time on my hands. Um, and as a journalist, I already knew all these PR companies who could get me in touch with these DPs. But, um, you know, I've done it for free this whole time. Uh, we're almost going to hit season five next uh, next year. And uh, not a penny came my way for it. Um, and that has become harder as I'm getting more work now that we're kind of out of the pandemic-y, strike-y, uh, survived the 25 era. Uh, film industry is really getting hit over the head uh, on the lower levels for sure, even at the higher levels. But um, this is all to say that I don't want it to be ad-supported uh, because ads suck. No one likes listening to them. I mean, the intro to the podcast is only 30 seconds. I just go, hey, it's me. Here's the guest. Let's go. And then it's just all, you know, there's no filler. It's all interview. Um but as I said, it's getting harder to do with all the work and, and prioritizing it stuff. So uh, as many people have, I started a Patreon for Frame and Reference. Uh, it's completely optional. The, the podcast will still be free on your favorite podcasting app, um, you know, Spotify, Apple, um, YouTube now. Uh, there's YouTube versions. There's also audio versions. Just, you know, it's not just on YouTube. Um, I was going to say Google Podcasts, but that doesn't exist anymore. Um, but if you would like to help support the podcast, uh, you know, whether that be to keep it going or just showing your appreciation or whatever it may be, um, the Patreon is there on Patreon. You will get episodes a week early. Um, and I will announce all of the interviews before I do them so that you can get your questions in, um, which I think is, is incredibly value. I valuable. Um, I've certainly over the past f uh, four years learned way more doing these interviews than I ever have, uh, at both film schools that I went to. Um, you know, because as I've gotten more along in my career, I, I have different questions and stuff. And, uh, for the longest time I was trying to make the podcast approachable from beginners and experts, but the more that I get along in my career, my questions tend to be more high level. Um, I, I hesitate to say expert level, but just, you know, there's a blind spot now in that kind of beginner um, side and also a blind spot, you know, in the higher levels. And it's there, I, everyone's got blind spots. I have them. Um, so I think giving everyone the opportunity to ask their questions um, is a value add. Um, so you'll get the, them a week early. You get to ask your questions um, and you'll get a sticker pack send you a sticker pack. So there's a couple tiers. They all are the same. I'm, you know, I, if I think of something more awesome to give the higher tiers. Great. I'm not trying to stratify the, uh, the, the fandom as it were. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to support the podcast, if you'd like to show your appreciation, or if you just have money you need to burn, uh, go ahead and go to uh, patreoncom slash frame and ref pod. And, uh, you know, you can show the love there. Uh, very much appreciate it. Like I said, nothing's changing about the podcast. We're, we're almost done with this season. We're probably going to wrap in November. Usually I take December, January off because um, I have a, a yearly gig that where I, I uh, take college kids snowboarding. Um, but also it's nice to just take a break for a minute. But uh, season five is already looking very strong. Um, we've got a lot of uh, incredible interviews already lined up. These things get lined up kind of far back. Every once in a while I feel a little bad because it's like we'll be talking about some movie that came out. And if, when the episode comes out, it's like that movie came out three months ago. And it's like, yeah, well, 
you know, but that's good. That's good for us. I'd rather we have backed up interviews than uh, none at all. Um, so yeah, that's the Patreon announcement and um, I really appreciate your support. Um, don't feel like you have to, but obviously it goes a long way in making sure that uh, this great educational content keeps coming out for you. And uh, also um, be sure to uh, tell your friends about it. You know, um, the you'd be surprised after 160 episodes, how few people have heard about it. Um, uh, mostly it's the guests that have heard about it. Every time I, you know, I used to ask like, oh, have, have you heard this before? You know, just to, just to get a gauge on whether or not I have to explain that it's, you know, like a casual conversation and, um, which they all seem to appreciate, especially if they're on a press tour. I like to think of frame and reference as the, uh, where they get to take a break, you know, they're still working, but they, they don't have to be, it's not variety or whatever, where they have to be very structured and rigid. They can just be free flowing and, um, the time passes well. Um, I think I, I think I interrupted the middle of a sentence there, but yeah, that's the Patreon. That's frame and reference. Share it with your friends, support if you can. And, uh, I'll see you on the next one.